go. Okay, this is the Geo Pro. I customized my Geo Pro and we're boondocking it in the middle of uh, Manitoba, uh, past Gimli, in the middle of nowhere. So I'll show you what we've done with the Geo Pro. Um, this one has propane, added an extra battery, so those two batteries, and I put a solar panel on top. We'll go ahead and look on the inside of uh, this Geo Pro in itself. As you can see, normally came as with a flat mattress at the bottom. So what we did is we added a table for the for the Geo Pro. We added two cushions, and we added all these doors and these doors to add some extra room. Actually, this one here has a has a potty. If you ever need to go to a potty, what you got to do though is you got to take the mattress out, and this lifts up, and there's actually a potty you can go right here. And that'll be useful later. Later, I'll show you guys if you look. Once you lay down flat, I noticed there was no places that you can put stuff on. So I've added these uh, little tables. As you can see, there's one on each side. You can add your clothes and drinks here. There's also a hook here to hang your clothes. I don't know if you can see that. And it goes like that. On each side, on this side, I added two little lights. So uh, you can actually see at night or do some reading, but it's personal lights for each person sleeping on each side. There's it from one wall to another, there's six feet. So an, an average person can sleep quite comfortably. If you're six, four, six, five, it may be a little tight for you. Um, go ahead. This Geo Pro comes with uh, water, 20 gallons. Um, comes with uh, its own solar panel, city water electricity which we're not using because we have a solar panel on top on top this is the gas barbecue it has a water pump which you know, I'll run it for you just to show we have 20 gallons today and you turn the water pump on there you go we have water the pumps not kicked in but it'll run a lot better here once all the air comes out there you go right then we go down to our gray water I added the soft pop drink I mean coca-cola so you can open your drinks. This is a good towel rack. When you're drying stuff, we found we had no place to dry towels. You couldn't put them here because they were sliding down. So I added this to dry up your towels. Um, I added on this one, this is not the uh, inverter that it comes with. This is a thousand watt inverter because the one that comes with a 300 watt, it didn't work. It kept kicking out. So I had to buy a new one. This is a thousand, it runs the refrigerator nice and cold. As you can see, yeah, the drinks are nice and cold. I've been running now the fridge for about seven hours and uh, on my two batteries and I'm down to 80% uh, battery power. So even with the sun as bright as it is, it's still using up quite a bit of battery power. Might need another solar panel to just keep it going. Right now I'm running 100 watt solar panels, so it may, may need two. All right, let me shut this off. Um, what can I show you on this side? I added two lights like this, as you can see. There's one on each side. I was finding when you come at night, it was so dark here, you couldn't get the key in, you had trouble getting in. So I added two of these lights on each side of the Geo Rockwood. Something else I did on my own. And if you want, I could show you the, the solar panels on this side of it. And I ran the wires right down the side and nice, easily done. And I used trailer tape to actually tape it down. I didn't screw into it. I just taped everything down. And I've driven probably 4,000 kilometers on it and the tape's been holding ever since. If you guys, anybody's interested and want to know what tape it is, I'll tell you what it is. But it's just regular trailed, uh, trailer tape that they use to uh, do the seams on trailers. I think that's all I've done to it at this point. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.